So there I was, walking through the park and- Oh wait, hold, hold on. How did I get here? What is a fucking Michael Reeves pizzbot doing next to me? Are those flip-flops? Who am I? Hi, I'm Sharpen and I'm going to recreate Michael's pizzbot because I want one. There's no catch to this video, I just want this robot, alright? It's gonna be better than Michael. Now if you don't know who Michael Reeves is, then, um, hello? He is a crackhead genius piece of shit who bought a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence robot made by Boston Dynamics and turned it into a nightmare fuel beer pissing gremlin. I recently watched this video and I got a great idea. I gotta get some beer. And then I drank the beer and got an even better idea. I'm gonna remake the robot and it's gonna be better than Michael's because fuck you. Now, recreating a machine with this level of complexity is going to be quite a challenge. There's a lot of pieces and gadgets and logic systems and quite frankly, top tier engineering. But I haven't told you this yet, but I'm a 3D artist, so it's gonna be far worse. Don't even get me started on that, it was a joke. So I've analyzed Michael's video to collect every detail about that beer pissing toaster. Like f from the shape, to the fucking cutting board on his back, to the maggot monster of cables in the fucking kitchen Tupperware for some reason, and every inch of its fucking foreskin. <laughs> You're a fool, Michael. You've given me everything I need. I'm a 3D artist. All I need is a single reference image to take your beloved creation and turn it against you in the battle of bots. The reference you gave me will burn down your world as you watch everything- What the fuck? is that even supposed to be? I'm gonna need one second. Open up Blender, the amazing and beautiful, wonderful, free open source software made by this handsome and lovely man. I love you. And get to work. Hey, yo, boss, I don't like this guy. But Michael started with an already finished Boston Dynamics robot dog, so I think it's only fair that I do the same. So I scavenged the internet and found this free textured and rigged model on Sketchfab, who still don't want to sponsor my videos. <laughs> I won't give up. You'll have no choice one day. I am inevitable. Except I didn't start with a finished Boston robot because the textures are perfect fucking straight out of factory clean, the normals are doo-doo and the rig is jack shit. So I had to repaint the entire fucking model, um, fix some errors in the normals and weather everything down like this thing actually interacted with real life before, which is agonizing and I don't like existing anymore. Somebody end my misery. You gotta think about everything. Uh, I, I live near a park, so its feet have to be dirty to a degree. This thing has been touched before, so it needs smears. It's got cavities where the dust usually settles. It's, I'm a dipshit, so I probably dropped it down the stairs a few times, so it's got scratches and shit. I even faked the Pizzbot duct tape label, making use of the height in normal maps. But with all that done, I've got myself a pretty good looking Boston Dynamic Spot Robot Dog. Boston. Robot. But it's got osteoporosis, so let's fix that. For the rig. Four inverse schematics handles for the legs, a main controller for the body, four pull vectors, and a fancy little piston controller that aims itself into the socket automatically. Look at how cool this thing is! I love you! Now you're probably thinking, wow, it's going so great and Sharp is so smart and funny and handsome. I am two weeks in and I haven't done anything yet. I still have to model all the pissing equipment. There are so many fucking cables and boxes and things, holy shit! How am I gonna finish this? Why did I start this? He is an underdeveloped, pathetic excuse of a person. He's got crippling depression and always defaults to contemplating his life. He's got more than just average skill, but he's a dipshit, so what's the deal? And when he does something right, all you can hear him say. God fucking damn it, I'm cool. He's John Quinn. Why are you doing this? Shark wins. Please get help. That was awful, and I never want to do it again. But the next part is gonna be really great. It's something that every 3D artist loves and enjoys. UV mapping. Essentially, I gotta take all the pissing crap models and manually make cuts on his geometry. These cuts will act like actual cuts on the shape, so they're able to unfold onto a flat surface. Like origami. I then take these UV islands and scatter them inside the one by one UDEM on the UV coordinate system. And then once I apply a texture to them, they'll take the corresponding part of the image they're placed on and visualize them on their faces. And bada beam, bada boom. Textures. And if you thought this section was a ripoff of Michael's video, then self-deprecating joke. But I don't just need one texture. <laughs> no, that's that's crazy. I need five of them. One for the base color, one for the roughness, one for the metalness, and the height and normal maps do pretty much the same thing, but in a different way. 
I need both though. Now the most important thing is photorealism. The human brain knows reality and it can detect a single fucking faulty pixel which I'm constantly reminded of in my goddamn comment section. Ah. But it's not like I can single-handedly produce Marvel level imagery. Not because it's not possible, it's because I'm a dipshit. So I'm taking you on a magical journey of texture painting. Wow. Paint, 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 done. I'm gonna die. Simulations. We live in one. Just kidding. Unless. If I want to sell a realistic product, I have to simulate the beer and the cables, and simulations are fucking awful, so to spare you the suffering, I'll report back when I'm done. Physics take forever, and it's cringe! Instead, I'm going to apply a rig system with drivers, so I can manually animate the cables wiggle up and down as needed. Hey, it's me, Sharp from the future. Don't take shortcuts. Huh? Please, you have to listen to me! And just like that, we are done. There's one last thing I gotta do. I gotta texture the curve, but oh shit, it's not actual geometry, it's just a curve. So what do I do? And this is the part where I say that Blender is the biggest fucking giga chat because it turns out if you wanna slap a material onto a curve, you can. It just works. How fucking insane is that? It just works. So the texture is now floating in space. So the logical thing to do would be to assign it onto the UVs. But problem, it's an infinitely thin fucking line. It doesn't have any UVs, but guess what? Blender doesn't care. It said, fuck you, you do now, and it just works. I love Blender so fucking much. You just gotta scale down the y-axis to the size of Trump's penis and you should be good. Autodesk can suck my ass. It's been a month and a half and I finally have a 3D version of Michael's Pissbot, but my work isn't done yet. If I want to have this guy walk around the city, I have to enter one of the most difficult and dreadful processes of the VFX production. Physically going outside. I'm also going to need a 360 HDRI panorama to help me get realistic reflections and match the lighting on set. Luckily, I bought this 360 Theta camera back when I was making Pori the Robot, so I'm all ready to go and make this work! Also, thanks to my friend for the help with the recording. I love you, man. No homo. I don't want to talk about it. So I've got the footage and I've got the character. How do I merge them together? To solve that issue, I have to do what's called camera tracking. Basically, grab a few points on my footage and stick onto them like single moms on child support. And once I have enough, I can plug in the information of my camera, such as the focal length, the distortion coefficients, and so on. From there, the software will do a bit of trigonometry to try to predict how the camera was moving for these points to make sense on the 2D footage, as well as in 3D space. And now that I got the movements of my camera perfectly replicated in Blender, I can throw anything I want into the scene and it's going to stick. Time to animate. In tonight's news, we're bringing inanimate objects to life with the joys of animation. We are checking in with our animation department to see how well they're doing. I don't know, Phil. I've been animating cables going back and forth for weeks now. There's, there's no end. I see cables everywhere I go. That's no way to live a life. I have to go back in time to warn myself. Fuck! I don't think it worked. Phil, you have to save me. You have to save me! Looks like quite a situation back there. I would say we check up on them, but this is YouTube and have to treat our audience like they have ADHD. So we'll do a bit of time traveling ourselves to visit the future to take a look at the rendering process. Take it away, George. Hello, Phil. This is George from the future, and I just want to say that rendering isn't really a very fun process, so instead we've scheduled a message by the creator himself. The creator? Yes, Phil, the creator of the video we're in right now. He says it's very important. Well done, George. Let's hear it. Hey, Michael. Hope you're watching this. If you are, hope you're enjoying it. It took me a lot of time and gray hairs. If you're not watching, want to have a chat with my viewers real quick. Scroll down in the comment section. If there is no pinned comment by Michael Reeves, please share the video. Share it on social media. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Discord, I don't know. Share it. Send it to Michael. Send it to the groups of people Michael might know. D don't harass anybody, obviously. Send it around, be respectful about it. And that's all I really want. I'm not gonna ask for likes, I'm not gonna ask for subs. I just want Michael to see the video. That is the end goal. I would love your support, if possible. And I wanna say a huge thank you to those of you who decided to share the video. You're the real ones. Now, you clicked on this video to see the piss bot, so let's get back to the video. Well, I gotta say, George, that was a very touching message. Ah, stop doing the newest thing! The video is done! Really? Yes! And we're playing it right now! Ah! Ah! Whoa, that was a weird dream. 
but it doesn't matter because I finally got my piss bot. Ah, life is so amazing with this robot. You know, dogs are a man's best friend. Just like it was back since the caveman days, it's just a man and his beer pissing cyber dog. And on a hot day, I know that he'll always have my back. I mean, all the other dogs like him, and if that's not proof, I don't know what more proof you need. Because ever since I made this thing, my life has been nothing but pure joy. Come on, Spot. Come on. Good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. And if he's looking out for me, then I'm gonna look out for him. He's like a real life NPC pet just waiting to give you more beer. Oh, fuck! You idiot! Watch where you're going! Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? You're out on a hot day. You want to get a steamy cup of beer. What do you do? You got yourself a piss bot right here. You just plop this thing down, wait for a little while, and he fucked it up. You're out on a hot summer day and you want to get a steamy cup of beer to cool yourself off. What do you do? You just plop this bad boy down here, wait for a little while. There you go. Go fucker. Perfect cup of beer every time. Look at this spot. Who still needs this baby shitter cringe? For as smart as he is, he's got an IQ of a toddler. You know what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And there he goes. Quitting already. Class. Jesus. Hey there, you young lady, can I interest you in a steamy cup of beer on this hot summer day? It's free, authentic, homemade. Don't look at the price, it's free. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's my dog's piss. Goldfish. This has to be the best time investment that I've ever made in my life. Goldfish. It might be a result of all the hard work that I spent on this, or the fact that I think that this sequence is fucking hilarious, but I don't think Michael's robot played fish with him, and my robot does so much more. Like, he can climb roofs, he can climb walls, and yes, before you ask, he can also fly, and I'm gonna stop talking because I don't want to do all this CGI. Look, Spot, it's just, it's just difficult, okay? I, I feel like my life is the definition of disappointment. Uh, the last four months of my life has been animating a pissing robot. What should I do? Spot, you always know how to cheer me up. So all in all, great day. Cheers. This is fake. The PissBot was a big success, but in true Michael Reeves fashion, I can't say this about my own stuff. You know who can though? Random strangers. Time for a survey. Now we're from England. Alright, we speak English. Yeah. Hey there. You guys seem like chill dudes when I ask a question. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to answer a question? Excuse me, do you have time to answer a question? I wouldn't say TV, but. No? Okay, good luck then. No, all right, that's good. It's a numbers game. They say no, and then someone says yes. Okay, so there's this guy, Michael Reeves. He bought a robot. He's an engineer to piss beer into cups. Right? Beer. Time to find our next victim. Excuse me, sir. In search for truth, they traveled. So I have this little piece of propaganda. <clears throat> I mean, like an ad. Maybe let's not ask the kids, because that's going to be awkward. You have time to answer a question. No, it's okay. Here's Michael's robot. It's slow as hell and it messes up all the time. Anyway, here's my robot. Right? It's a loyal travel companion. He can climb roofs, walls. Yes, he can also fly. So far, we've got one out of four. Which robot would you say is better? <laughs> well, if I only... Like judge from the clips, it's yours is better. So objectively, mine is better. Yeah, yours is better. I like yours better. Yours is better. Mine. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. If I only, uh, you know, uh, express my opinion depending on the clips I saw. Yes. You know, I'm only accepting one answer here, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Suck my dick, Michael. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi there, there's more at the end, so don't leave just yet, but thank you for watching. This project has been something. For the past four months, I've been juggling between my work, client projects, and this YouTube video, and I think that's the reason why it took so long to complete. It was absolutely stressful, but I think the reward from this finally being out is worth it. 
Uh, I want to ask you again, please share the video. I really want Michael to see it. He's been a huge inspiration of mine, both for my content, my channel, as well as for self-image. I don't know if that's weird, but he taught me that I should be more confident in what I'm doing, and it did a lot for me, and I kind of want to say thank you. This video is like an homage. It's important to me. I want him to see it, so please help me out. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, join my Discord server, support me on Patreon, and I'll see you in a few months when I'm done with the next video. <laughs> That's how it goes. Until then, I'll be hanging out on my second channel, posting goofy, stupid things. So if you want to see more content from me, in the meanwhile, while you wait, take a visit to Dolbreeze. It's in the description below. And with that said, thanks for watching. Stay sharp.